Hello, welcome to the new section, Advanced NLP Concepts. This section combines all your lessons so far and creates applicable solutions that can be easily plugged into any of your real life application problems. We will write solutions such as text similarity, summarization, sentiment analysis, amphora resolution, and so on. Now, we move on to the first video of this section that deals with creating an NLP pipeline. In this video, we're going to build the simplest possible pipeline. It acquires data from a remote RSS feed and then prints the identified named entities in each document. In computing, a pipeline can be thought of as a multi-phase data flow system where the output from one component is fed to the input of another component. To begin, we import five Python libraries. NLTK, Natural Language Toolkit. Threading, a library used to create lightweight tasks within a single program. Q, used in a multi-threaded program. Feed Parser, which is an RSS feed parsing library. UUID, an RFC 4122 based UUID version 1, 3, 4, 5 generating library. Create a new empty list to keep track of all the threads in the program. This instruction creates a list of two queues in a variable queue. Now, why do we need two queues? The first queue is used to store tokenized sentences, and the second queue is used to store all the POS analyzed words. Then, we define a new function. Extract words, which reads a sample RSS feed from the internet and stores the words, along with a unique identifier for this text. We also define a sample URL, entertainment news from the India Times website. Next, invokes the parse function of the feed parser library. This parse function downloads the content of the URL and converts it into a list of news items. Each news item is a dictionary with title and summary keys. We then take the first five entries from the RSS feed and storing the current item in a variable called entry. The title of the current RSS feed item is stored in a variable called text. This instruction skips the titles that contain sensitive words. Since we are reading the data from the internet, we have to make sure that the data is properly sanitized. Next thing we do is break the input text into words using the word tokenize function and store the result into a variable called words. Then we create a dictionary called data with two key value pairs where we are storing the UUID and input words under the UUID and input keys respectively. This line of code stores the dictionary in the first queue, queues zero. The second argument is set to true, which indicates that if the queue is full, pause the thread. A well-designed pipeline understands that it should control the inflow and outflow of the data according to the component's computation capacity. If not, the entire pipeline collapses. So here, we print the current RSS item that we are processing along with its unique ID. Following that is a new function called extract POS, which reads from the first queue, processes the data, and saves the POS of the words in the second queue. And this is an infinite loop. These instructions check whether the first queue is empty. When the queue is empty, we stop processing. In order to make this program robust, we pass the feedback from the first queue. This is left as an exercise for you. This is the else part, which indicates there is some data in the first queue. Take the first item from the queue in FIFA order. Then identify the parts of speech in the words. Update the first queue, mentioning that we're done with processing the item that is just extracted by this thread. Store the POS tagged word list in the second queue so that the next phase in the pipeline will execute things. Here also, we are using true for the second parameter, which will make sure that the thread will wait if there is no free space in the queue. Next, define a new function, extract NE, which reads from the second queue, processes the POS tagged words, and prints the named entities. This again is an infinite loop instruction. If the second queue is empty, then we exit the infinite loop. This else block picks an element from the second queue and stores it in a data variable. 
And here, we mark the completion of data processing on the element that was just picked from the second queue. This line of code extracts the named entities from the POS tags variable and stores it in a variable called chunks. This snippet does multiple things. It prints the UUID from the data dictionary and then iterates over all the chunks that are identified. We also use a try except block because not all elements in the tree have the label function. They are tuples when no NE is found. Finally, we call a print function, which prints a new line. Post that, we define a new function, run program, which does the pipeline setup using threads. These three instructions create a new thread with extract words as the function. Start the thread and add the thread object E to the list called threads. And here, a new thread is created with extract POS as the function. It starts the thread and adds the thread object P to the list variable threads. In the same way, we create a new thread using extract NE for the code, start the thread, and add the thread object N to the list threads. These lines release the resources that are allocated to the queues once all the processing is done. Then, we iterate over the thread's list, store the current thread object in a variable T, call the join function to mark the completion of the thread, and release resources allocated to the thread. And this is the part of the code that is invoked when the program is run with the main thread. The run program is called here, which simulates the entire pipeline. Here's the final output. This was all about NLP pipelines. Great!